I'm going to show you how to box a corner, the all-in-one method where the lining and the outer are sewn together at the same time. For this, I've used the Amber Makes Totally Tuck Beach Huts bag. Start off by taking the outer front and the outer back and sew them together down the sides and across the bottom. Then take the lining and sew that together down the sides and across the bottom. Leave the cut out box corners unstitched and also leave a gap in the lining. You can see on here the pockets attached in this one. Once you've done that, remember the box corners aren't sewn at this stage. Turn the lining right sides out and place it inside the outer. This is how you would normally make a bag by sewing them together across the top. Now to sew the lining to the outer across the top, match the side seams on both sides and pin or clip them together. Once they're all clipped together, you can sew the lining to the bag all the way around the top, encasing the handles if you've put it, put them in at the same time. Now once that's done and your lining is attached to your outer, pull them apart. This is the clever bit where you box the corners all in one. So take one of the cut out corners on your outer piece and open it out so that the base seam and the side seam meet exactly, just how you would normally box a corner. Then pin or clip these together. When you're doing the all-in-one method, it's easier if you've got fabric clips because you're going to move them in a moment. And it's much easier to do that if you're using clips rather well, than pins. But if you've only got pins, it's fine. It, you just need to make sure you move and take them all out. Now follow the seam down from that box corner, down the lining, the outer, up the lining and to the other box corner on the lining piece. Now, in exactly the same way, match the base seam to the side seam and clip them together. Then clip them to the corner together all the way along. Now, you need to repeat that to clip the other outer corner. It's much easier if you work on one corner at a time like this. Again, match the base seam with the side seam and clip it together. Give the corner a little pull to make sure it's all lying flat and you haven't got any pleats or creases in it. And clip across the corner. Now you've got one box corner left. So if you follow the seam along, you will find it the other lining corner. Again, open out the seam so that they are laying flat and then match the base seam to the side seam. So all four corners clipped box in exactly the same way. But it's much easier to clip them one at a time before you join them together. Now we're going to match an out corner with a lining corner. So take the outer corner, follow the seam with your finger all the way along until you find the opposite lining corner. Now place them together so that those seams are matching so that the seam that you've traced along with your finger is on the inside. This is where it's useful to have used clips because now we're going to clip the whole corner together. So you've got two layers of lining fabric and two layers of outer fabric. Make sure the seams match and then the clips that you've put in you can take out the top one and swap it for the bottom one or the other way around. So now you've got the lining and the outer corner all clipped together. You can see that the others are still left unclipped, but I find it easier to work on one corner at a time. So pull it all out nice and flat and sew across the box corner in the way that you normally would. There you can see I've sewn them together so you've got the outer and the lining together. Now we're going to do the other box corner. So follow the seam line with your finger all the way along and place that seam so they're facing each other like this and in exactly the same way as you did the other corner move the clips and pin the two corners together always start at the center so you can make sure that those seams are all matching up you'll just get a neater finish and the corners will be in the right place if you do this and then clip the other part of the corner together now sew that box corner across in the same way now your bag looks a bit like a pasty. 
with the box corners all sewn together. So put your hand inside the turning gap that you left in the lining at the beginning and turn the whole bag right sides out through the turning gap. Now push the lining inside the outer so that the outer is on the outside. Whilst that turning gap is open and unstitched, you can put your hands inside it to push out the corners. It's much easier to do this before you stitch the turning gap closed. So put your hand inside and just poke out those corners to make sure they lie right on the edges. Now you can sew the turning gap closed. You can see the lining corners are nice and pushed out. So just fold the edges of the turning gap under to the inside and pin or clip them together all the way along. Now you can hand sew this gap closed or sew it by machine. It just depends which method you prefer. Now that turning gap is closed, your bag is finished. You can see that the lining stays really neatly inside because it's trapped in the outer box corners. But you can't see any raw edges and everything's nice and neat.